I always remember him watching football through the cracks of our fence just so he can see a glimpse of the team standing in rain and you know, cold weather, whatever it was, just because he wanted to be around the game. We, we had gotten done with practice and I saw two buses starting to pull away. I saw AJ. I could tell, you know, uh, he had some type of uh, disorder. And he tried to like raise his hand at the bus, at the two buses, and they just pulled off. And it was starting to rain. And so uh, I just felt bad. I hear someone say, hey man, you need a ride. He just had this big smile on his face and was like, yeah. As I got closer, I'm like, as AJ McCare. And so I'm, uh, we're pulling around. I'm taking him home. He lives right down the street. And I'm like, I'm AJ McCarron. Yeah, I know who you are. My name's AJ also. And if that's not a message from above, then I don't know what is. So I, you know, I was holding tears back just uh, hearing his story and him having uh, cerebral palsy and how it happened to him. You know, umbilical cord got wrapped around his neck when he was in his mom's stomach uh, and cut off his air, airway. Having Sarah Paul is not kind of, it's kind of hard to go out into the real world and sort of meet people. He got out of the car and I just started bawling, crying. I mean, I couldn't handle it anymore. And I, got, I called Joe Panunzio, um, who's like director of our football operations here. And I told him the story and I said, is there any way we can get him a, a job here? He called me back the next day and was like, he's going to help in the equipment room getting all the stuff ready for the games and doing laundry. He's not going to get paid. And I told AJ that. And he was like, I don't even want to get paid. I just, you know, I want to be here and be around the team. And I was so excited. <laughs> now I get to be around the football players and just interacting with all the guys. <laughs> I'm so thankful for all AJ and his organization has been for Here's a kid, you know, who's been through all types of uh, obstacles and I mean, he still wakes up smiling every day and, and ready to go to work. And I feel like he's, you know, taught me more than I've actually, or given me more than I've actually given him. Every time I come here, no matter how bad my day is or what I may go through with my challenges, when I come here, it, it goes out the window, you know, I'm probably the happiest man on this planet.